When you record your interview, podcast, or other high-quality video content with Riverside, you get access to our powerful tool called the Editor. Using our Editor, you can export the full length of your interview, setting the in and out points, and create a side-by-side -side video in just a few seconds. You can also export shorter format videos for social media, both in landscape and vertically for TikTok and Reels. Here's how to use Riverside to do it. Once I've logged into Riverside, I'm gonna click View Recordings on one of my studios. Choose one of your past recordings, and then in the upper right-hand corner, click on the Edit button, and you can choose whether you wanna create a story, a square post, or a full-length 16x9 landscape video. You can also change this after you've chosen. I can choose to name this clip. Maybe it's the episode title or number. And you have several options here on the right. For tracks, you can choose whether or not you want to include a video track of a participant and what order you want them to appear. Maybe you want this person on the right and this one on the left. You can switch it by changing the numbers from zero to one. Whoever is zero appears on the left, one appears on the right, and of course that might change if you have more participants in the recording. You can also click this waveform icon to select only the audio from this person's recording. Clicking on the size tool, you can change to a vertical 9x16, 1x1 square, or 16x9 typical landscape video. Then choosing the layout option, you can remove any gaps between the video and it'll be a seamless side-by-side, -side, or you can add the gaps to get a little more space between the video. You can also choose our full frame, shared, or split artificial intelligence export. Choosing one of our AI layout options will actually change the focus of the speaker depending on who is talking at the moment. You can choose the full frame AI version, picture in picture, or split view. Finally, if you're choosing a layout with gaps in between the speakers, you can choose custom images to use as the background or even upload your own. You can also choose to add your logo as a watermark on top of the video. Once you have your layout set, you can then choose the in and out points of the clip you'd like to export. And a new feature in our editor is actually the ability to manually insert a timestamp to get the exact moment that you're looking for. Let's say we want to export a clip for social media. I'm actually going to change the size to 9 by 16 because maybe I'll share this on TikTok or Instagram Reels. And now I can pull the in and out points exactly where I want them. Now often you can only share a maximum of 60 seconds or maybe you want even less. Here I can actually click in the timestamps to manually change the time. Maybe I want this clip to start at exactly 10 minutes in and I want it to stop at exactly 11 minutes. This way the clip is exactly 60 seconds long. Typing in those timestamps and then hitting enter will automatically change the in and out points. When you're ready to export the clip, click the export button in the top right. You can choose up to 4K resolution. If you had differing audio levels during the recording, you can enable this toggle and Riverside will level the audio so everyone's the same volume throughout the clip. If there was any background noise, you can enable that toggle to remove it. And of course you can choose to remove the Riverside watermark from your clip. Click the export button and you'll be sent an email when your clip is ready to download. And going back to this episode's recording, if you scroll down, you'll see all the previous clips that you've edited are still available, and you can download by clicking the three dots and re-downloading it here. That's how you use the Riverside Editor and our new feature of setting in and out points precisely with timestamps. If you have any questions, drop a comment below the video, hit the like button, and subscribe to the Riverside channel. We have lots of content on creating high-quality video content, automating your podcast workflows, and a ton more. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you in the next video.